Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. There are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of uh, excitement and expectation. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture-perfect for a game of this nature. They do appear, Jim Beglin, to be going with a 5-3-2 formation. Well, a reinforced rear guard, Peter, and a compact midfield probably suggests that they're focusing much on giving very little away. I think if you commit to that, then you really can't afford to concede because it clearly demands a quick change in approach if you do, which isn't always easy because in the build-up to this, believe me, they'll have been working principally on organisation and shape and training. And it's not easy just to suddenly come out of that. They've got on the way here pretty promptly. Well positioned to make that interception. He's made sure that that won't get through. Kleissen. Aimed long and direct. Has a swing at it! And he's there to make a great save. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. They've played it short. The chances keep on coming. They're awarded another corner. And he just whacks it away. Turns and goes back. Ahmad Grozny still to register a shot on target. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Oh, good ball. Good clearance and very necessary. Looks to clip it forward. Gleison. Tries to get it forward quickly. Good try cutting inside here. Forward it goes. to get it forward quickly. Oh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. No goals as yet. Long and direct. It's a bit of penetration to go with all this possession. And it's got through. A buccaneering run from the defender. It's one! Time that is telling. 
Akbat Grozny are so well practiced in the art of keeping the ball through wonderful passing and movement and a real appetite to ensure it's reflected in their goal count. Ahmad will be the last act of the first half. And there we are, off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain their momentum now and finish the job. Ahmad Grozny head for the dressing room in possession of a 1 0 lead. So we're just settling back into this second half. Ahmad Grozny carrying a one-goal lead. Kleisson. Plays it out to the flank. And that has been clubbed away. Albeit perhaps momentary. Ahmad Grozny are ahead here by what is still the only goal. And he heaves it forward. It's been taken short. A oh, well played. He's taken that really cleanly. Krasnodar showing a little more urgency now, and to be honest, Peter, this is what's required. Yeah. Hit and hope is just about the sum of... He's gone for it! He's got away with one there. Forward it goes. Now he's wondering who wants it. This defence is, is weary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight. Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. It is a corner. Chooses to go back. Can he finish? Danger averted for now. Tries lifting it over. Boots it to safety. Krasnodar are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Tries to get it forward quickly. We sit high. Gets good distance on it. Ball is over the line. Krasnodar are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. 
Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. It's a loose ball. He's gone down, but the referee just tells him to get back up again. And that is it. The referee has seen enough. Terrific contest. It really might have tipped either way. The margins were tiny. Just a goal in it. But that was enough. Well, that was a hard-fought win with a defensive masterclass. They backed up their goal with a, a resilience that was first class. Well, that's it for tonight's match. So it just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin alongside me and to wish you all a very good evening.